In the previous clips, we focused on improper integrals uh, related to infinite intervals. But we also have a different kind of improper integrals, those that are dealing with discontinuities and asymptotes of functions. Uh, as an example, consider the following function, which is defined on the left open interval, 0, 1, right close, and uh, fx is equal to 1 over the square root of x. Yeah, so here is the graph of the function. So we see that we have a vertical asymptote, x equals 0. And um, for t is smaller than 0 and 1, we define an integral, definite integral, at which equals the integral from t to 1 of fx dx. So at represents the gray area under the graph of f. Yeah, and we may calculate for each number t in between 0 and 1. We, we may calculate the integral with respect to fx over t to 1, since uh, a primitive is given by 2 times the square root of x. So we may evaluate the primitive in the endpoints 1 and t. So we get, as a result, we get 2 minus 2 square root of t. Now what happens if we study for t very close to 0? Or, more in particular, suppose we take the limit for t to 0 plus. So we close in on 0 from the right, and we look at a t. Yeah, so the integral from t to 1 fx dx. Well, of course, this is the limit from t to 0 plus of at. And as we calculate it, at, this is the same. This amounts to calculating this the limit for t to 0 plus of 2 minus 2 square root of t. And of course, when square root of t becomes 0, this goes to 2. So... You see that the limit exists and, 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 and has a value too. So in this sense we may speak of the we can speak of the area under the graph enclosed by the, the, the graph and the lines x equals zero and y equals zero. Yeah, in the same fashion as we were considering improper integrals on infinite. Uh, infinite intervals. Here we also have a kind of infinite region since close to zero the function goes to infinity. But we see that by taking limits, uh, taking a limiting procedure, this is a finite region. So we choose to denote this limit as follows, just as uh, very comparable to a definite integral. So the limit of t to 0 plus of t1 fx dx is written as the integral from 0 to 1 fx dx. Be aware that when you encounter such integral that you have to think of uh, the improperness yourself. Yeah? So whenever f has a asymptote in 0, then you know that